Welcome to 15 Steps to Personal Freedom, a Binner pre Pesach special, part 12. The next part of the Seder, we're coming towards the end now, is Tzafun. What that means, of course, on practical terms, is that it's time to eat the Afikoman. Afikoman is that bigger piece of the matzah which we hid away. In some families, this is negotiation time. We don't know where it's been hidden. We don't know where it's been stolen to. We've got to discover it. Other families don't do that. Other families just have it wrapped up. And now it's time to open up the wrapping and eat the Afikoman once again, a big piece of matzah, and we lean to the left. So why is the Afikoman so special? And why is it called Safun? Why is it called hidden? In other words, the fact that we hid the Afikoman, whether in a cloth or someone stole it and hid it in a, in a special hiding place, is very significant. And the reason is because as we continue to grow, as we continue to go out of our personal Egypt, we need to understand the infinite potential. We need to understand that it's not just about going out of ourselves and looking and engaging in things which we weren't used to doing before. It's about exploring spiritual opportunities that to us were completely hidden. Because our sages teach us that the soul that we have operates on two levels, the conscious and the subconscious. And even though the conscious is very pure and the conscious part of our soul is, is, has tremendous opportunity and gives us the strength and the energy to go out of our personal Egypt and to experience personal freedom and internal freedom. But there's much more to it. There's the hidden part of the soul. There's the tzafun, that hidden potential, the infinite subconscious depth, hidden, unbelievable spark of the soul, which normally is completely hidden from us. You know, it's only special times, special opportunities where it's revealed. And one of those times is Pesach night, towards the end of the Seder, where we really try our best and we're given it the effort to try and taste and experience the real Pesach Seder, personal freedom that God gives us the opportunity to tap into, the tzafun, the hidden part of our soul. So the next step to freedom is when we've done everything that we can, we don't stop there. We need to remember that there's more to tap into, that we need to tap in the hidden potential, the infinite mystique of the soul, the tzafun, the hidden part of the neshama, which will give us infinite potential to keep going and to keep growing. Have a wonderful day.